Hey guys, it's Ashley here at amiclubwear.com and I'm going to show you a simple hairstyle today that's inspired by TV shows like Mad Men and it's all the craze right now, kind of like an old Hollywood uh, vintage look that looks really great and super classy and muy elegante. Okay, so we're going to start with some clean hair because clean hair always just works the best. So the first step, we're going to do the faux hawk area and you just kind of part it. I use my fingers, you can use a tail comb, whatever works best for you, whatever you have at home. So just separate your hair and do like a little faux hawk area. Make sure you have your comb nearby, you're gonna need it. Okay. So I'm going to start with the first section in the front. Okay, so we just divided our hair like so into a little, I guess you could call it a square part. And you want it to be about two inches apart in length because we're going to be using a curling iron that is about an inch and a half to two inches in diameter. You can use smaller if you want smaller curls or bigger if you prefer the waves. So we're just going to start by getting that part right here. And you're going to want to take the hairstyle here and use this little curling iron, mid strand, and move it back and keep curling. You just kind of keep moving with it all the way down the strand until you get about here. And then you're going to kind of like lift it off, just kind of ease out of it while maintaining the curl. So here you go. You can kind of see how it's set into its own little curled position without having to use any rollers of any sort. And you're just going to take a simple bobby pin. And I like to, to get them kind of stretched out. Excuse me. Kind of stretched out here where you don't have too much, you know, tautness in it where it's going to create like a line. Um, and then just kind of pin it here down at the base of your hair, base of the curl. And you can do both sides just to secure it. Ultra secure. Insurance on your hair. And there you go. Looks kind of like a pompadour, um, but pretty soon you'll be looking like a crazy mama. So then we're going to go and do a second curl just to show you one more time kind of how that goes. And for the sides here, just kind of Part it like just behind the ear I guess you yeah, would say you know just a straight line and if you need to pin this area back just kind of take it and use a, another bobby pin or um, a clip if you have one okay and section that off again I don't know if you'll have thick hair or fine but I usually have about two sections worth of hair here. So you're just going to comb this out. Again, take your curling iron, mid-strand, and then twist. You're just moving and curling. Just kind of keep going along, twisting it. You don't want to stay in two, one spot for too long. And just move down the strand ever so shortly. And there we go. Just kind of let it go. Let it do its thing. Kind of, it helps to move it up. That way, it just falls into your hand, just like that. Just kind of pin that back in here, and there you go. Little pin curl. Grab your stretched out little pin here and pin it. I'd say go about pinning both sides if you need to, especially if you're a newbie just always works out better that way. Just like that. Then you just continue doing this throughout your whole entire head and then we'll show you the second step.
we look like a crazy mama, you're gonna want to spray the shiznit out of your hair. So we'll just take our hairspray here. Any kind will do. I mean, I'm sure you have your favorite. We are using Aussie today. So just go ahead and spray your head all the way around. Use your hand to shield your beautiful little face. Just kind of get all up in there. You want to set those curls. <coughs> Cloud of hairspray. Caution. So now that you've sprayed your hair, just kind of let it set. Um, I don't know if you're going to want to go and maybe run some errands, do that crazy mama thing, go to the store. But just let it set. Um, I don't know if your hair sets really easily. If you have very fine hair, it's probably going to be pretty resistant. But if you have like naturally curly hair, this should be a cinch and you should be ready to take it out. So the next step is going to be taking out your hair. So now that your hairspray is all set, we're going to go ahead and take those out. And I like to start at the uh, nape of our hair here at the very bottom because it just seems to work that way, falls accordingly. And since you have maybe one or two bobby pins um, pinning that curl, you're going to just want to take those out ever so carefully. If they're a little stretched out, then they shouldn't um, pinch your hair any. You're just going light, to let it lightly fall. There we go. Looking cute. And if you can tell, it's a little bit um, like an elegant curl. It's not really like a wave. The ends are finished, um, unlike in a wave. And you just go about one to the other, just kind of letting them fall out. Maybe help them down. You don't want to like rip your hair out. You know, the last thing you want to do is just be really, uh, you know, careless. You just kind of let them out. Oh, second one in there. There you go. So you're just going to go through and do this to your whole hair and then pretty soon you'll be at your third step. So now that you've let all your curls down, you have like, you know, kind of a divided, uh, very structured curl and you're going to want to break that up and what I basically use, I say your hands are always your best comb, I just go through and just kind of comb through with my hands. So I just start with like your four fingers mostly, um, just kind of keep them open like a tooth comb and just kind of just lightly go through it. If your hairspray is very flexible, then you should be able to kind of go through that with ease and this kind of gives them a more finished um, broken up look because you probably have that division of that part still there. Okay. So now you've played with your hair a little bit, you've structured your curls into like a wave pattern or you know just any sort of style that you really like. And then what I like to do is gather this end of my hair, I mean I do a really deep part for this look, that's what I really recommend for the vintage styles, like very deep parts. So um, with this side I really like to do kind of like a pin, um, just gather that hair there, you know, just kind of work with your fingers. And I just kind of do like a little gathering of hair here. Just kind of smooth it out. Your hands are great for this. Just kind of like twist, twist the hair, like kind of a, I guess this would be counter, no, clockwise. I would go back clockwise. And then you have like a little, like almost like a pompadour here where the hair is kind of gathered and in a little twist. And then I would just take a bobby pin of whatever hair color you have. You know, they have blonde, they have dark hair, black. And um, I get mine from Target. You know, they always got the great stuff there. And then you just kind of take it and pin it. And I always like to go behind the ear. And I would just open it up and grab that piece of hair. And then just tuck it into it. Because no one likes to see bobby pins. It looks very unfinished and ugh, it's not cute. So then you just kind of move your hair. I don't know if you have cute ears. I've always been so conscious of my ears because kids call me Dumbo. Naughty little kids. So, you know, just kind of keep it 
over the ear or you know let that ear hang whatever you want to do so now that we have our style completed just finish off with some hairspray Aussie one more time here you shield your face you don't want to get that hairspray all up in your hair on your face there we go and here we go we're muy elegante we're just you know doing a Scarlett Johansson I know Katy Perry's doing it right now it's a very elegant look it's so in it's so you right now why not give it a shot okay ladies so now that we have our hairstyle all in place we're looking very elegant you might want to finish it off with a little bustier top like I have here but make sure to just keep it classy keep it elegante and we'll see you on the flip side